Well, what about this Iranian deal? How's it going to go down? Uh, we thought we'd good talk very briefly to Jonathan Shanzer, a terrorism analyst, about all this. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, the president uh, is, is making these kind of wild statements. The battle's going on in Washington. As a terrorism analyst, you know, is this a good deal or is this a bad deal? It's, a, it's, it's, it's about as bad of a deal as you can get from the perspective of terrorism finance. Uh, you know, as, you, as you're likely aware, Iran is set to receive uh, roughly $100 billion, uh, with a B, uh, in sanctions relief. Uh, this is, uh, these are funds that were held in escrow. According to the global sanctions regime that we had imposed on Iran, they were being held in local currencies. They're now going to be converted to dollars and euros and sent back to Iran, and there will be very little in the way of restrictions on those funds. And, of course, we know that Iran is the most prolific state sponsor of terrorism in the world, uh, $100 billion is a lot of money to throw around, even if they only spend uh, 10% of that or even 1% of that. We're looking at a massive uptick in terror finance to groups like Hezbollah, Hamas, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, uh, the Shiite militias in Iraq that used to target Americans and that are now uh, gobbling up territory on behalf of Iran. So, you know, it is, uh, it's a fairly horrible deal from that perspective. All right, and so uh, if it goes through, what what are the repercussions? Well, the repercussions are that uh, Iran um, uh, gets a chance to, to fund terrorism now, uh, and uh, in five years they have uh, the global arms embargo lifted. In eight years they have no restrictions on ballistic missiles, and of course the only reason why you need ballistic missiles is for uh, uh, the delivery of a nuke. Uh, and then after 10 years, Iran will be free and clear to develop its nuclear program as it sees fit. In other words, this deal provides Iran with a 10-year patient pathway to a nuclear weapon. And uh, so, you know, it, to sum it up, what we've done is we're kicking the nuclear can down the road. We're saying that we're saving uh, world peace for now, but 10 years from now, we very well may have a nuclear weapon in Iran's hands. And in the meantime, Iran will be much stronger economically and will have been able to fund terror groups around the world. All right. So uh, you're watching it very closely. Do you have any sense? I mean, uh, obviously, you're a terror analyst. Do you have any sense about how it's looking up on Capitol Hill? Well, uh, the battle in, uh, on Capitol Hill is somewhat fierce, and I believe that's, that's really why the president came out with such strong partisan statements, I believe offensive statements yesterday, as you noted, lumping Republicans in uh, with, uh, with murderous Iranian hardliners. It's, uh, it, it was really, I think, a step too far. Uh, but what the president's trying to do is he's, he's trying to make it extremely uncomfortable for blue dog Democrats to even think uh, about switching sides. Uh, and, and the fight is going to be essentially about the supermajority in the Senate. I mean, uh, at, at this point, most analysts believe that there will be 60 votes against the deal initially, but people are looking at that number of 67. If the president uh, vetoes, the only question now is whether it can be overridden. The sense, at least for now, is that uh, the, the senators will not reach that 67 margin, although I, I think based on the president's rhetoric yesterday, he may be a little worried. All right, and the side deal. A lot of talk about the side deal. Look, we don't know what the side deals are. There are deals that took place on the margins of the main deal that was signed. Uh, the IAEA and, uh, and, and, and other organizations apparently inked deals with the Iranians where the United States uh, was not privy. Senators are asking for briefings. They're not getting them. Apparently, Wendy Sherman, the lead negotiator for the State Department, was able to see this, but she's not sharing it with lawmakers. And so there's a lot of frustration here about the secrecy uh, on the margins of this deal. Okay. Listen, thank you so much, Jonathan. It's good to have you here and appreciate your input on this as the, uh, the Senate continues to debate.